Hello and welcome my friends to another The Flying Kick Unscripted, I am Savino as always and today we will take a look at the recently revealed Night Slashers remake. This remake was announced way back in 2021 I guess and well that doesn't matter. If you haven't yet, let's take a look at the short teaser they released today. So the first thing you guys should know, and that's not obvious because the lead developer has two companies, is that Night Slasher's remake is being produced by the same guys behind Skinny and Franco, and you can see some similarities in the art style. While I would prefer this game in pixel art, I, I'm not against a hand draw art, far from that, but in this case I think the graphics look a little clean, I guess? Yeah, even when compared with Skin and Franco, I feel the game is a little bright. I'm fighting with the words here, because I'm really not sure what feels off to me. But I think the cleanness of everything is what is bothering me a little. The combat looks unchanged when compared to the original game, which can be a good and a bad thing. The combat in the original Night Slasher was interesting for 1993, basing itself on some charged moves that could make all the difference in the game. In the original one holding the attack would charge a ring of fire that allowed you to unleash unique attacks on your enemy and it was a lot of fun actually. The bad thing about this is that we have games like Night Slasher's X which improves the combat a lot allowing all sorts of combos and moves that you can imagine. The press release said the game will have quote-unquote enhanced combat, execute combos, aerial attacks and special moves to create an engaging and satisfying gaming experience. And you can say that basically about every game, I mean, I'm not criticizing it, but press releases usually don't help much, they are all the same. Well, while this is a remake of the original game, I think that a revamped combat would suit more to modern audiences, but that's just me. One thing that I noticed is that Chris is using his signature cross instead of that weird ball thing that he used to have in the western version of the game. Curiously enough, we don't get to see Jake being played here, only Christopher and Hong Hua are shown in the game. Which led me to believe that Jake isn't exactly ready yet. Usually I would say that this means the game is still a little away from release, but since this is a remake, I, it can go both ways. Now a little bit of rumor, the game will wallow for players and it will have an expanded roster, leading to believe that the game will have more characters. And that's exactly what I've heard, the game will come with a brand new character that so far I know nothing about except that. But this by itself is already some good news. The same source said to me that the game will be local only at launch, but an online mode is being studied as a post-release content. Take all of that with a handful of salt. I'm passing to you what I heard and <laughs> while my sources are to be trusted, these things change a lot and from the people I talked to only one mentioned the online. Another thing that will be in the game is the ability to change the soundtrack from the new and improved one to the original one. A good thing if you ask me because the OST from the original game was pretty solid and while I'm sure I will spend most of my time listening to it while playing, I'm more than interested to hear what the new one will sound like. Now there's something interesting here, it seems you will be able to pick the original art style for the game but with improved controls. This would be extremely neat, especially if you're not a fan of the art style, but at the same time you can have a similar experience playing Night Slasher's X Rebalance. While this fun game is pretty awesome with widescreen support for local players, four new characters I guess and a very satisfying combat, it has some shortcomings like weird difficulty spikes and some sprites that are 
vastly different from the original style of the game, which is very common to see in open board games. Night Slasher's remake still has no release date, but I assume you can expect it at some point next year, and also no specific system was announced so far, so we will have to wait a little bit more to find out, maybe on the official trailer. Yeah, 2024 will be a heck of a year. Oh, and by the way, uh, I know there's one among you that is already asking, so I still have no information about a physical release or collector edition. Yeah, you know who you are. And what about you? Tell me down below your impressions, what you think of the art style, are you excited for the game? Well, that's all I had to say, let's keep chatting. And don't forget we now have a cool Discord server with tons of beaten up fans and creators, link down below. Other than that, I hope you all have an awesome day, and remember, keep it up.